tonight. We are ready for the penultimate bout of the evening. The Deluxe Professional Boxing League week number 19. And this is the much anticipated bout that everybody is waiting for. And this is the middleweight contest of our six rounds. Now, ladies and gentlemen, officials for this bout. Judge 1, Michael Nikwe. Judge 2, Ishmael Williams. And Judge 3, David Mills. Now, introducing the box of fighting now from the blue corner. And this even is spotted in white and wine trunks. White shoe, blue gloves to match. And this is the man who was born and bred in Aplaco. Botiano. And this is the man with the official weight of 163 pounds and the official record of two fights, no defeat, no draw. All the two wins came by way of knockout from the Palm Spring Boxing Gymnasium here in Accra under the tutelage of the man who is also known to be called the American Man. Presenting to you the boxer Benjamin Ni Sako. Crossing over to the red corner, and this is another credible, durable boxer under the tutelage of one of the finest boxing trainers Ghana has ever produced from the Panics Boxing Gymnasium with a record of four fights, no defeats, no draw, four wins. All the wins came by way of knockout, and this is the man with the weight of 160.50 pounds presenting to you the boxer from the panics boxing gymnasium harry Mom! and the man in charge of this fight is shadrach okay technical director of the gba shadrach Akwe will be in charge of this cliffhanger of a battle and if you take a look at the determination alone on the faces of these two boxers you would understand why this should be a sellout fight uh, prince i like the adjective you use Real. this is a cliffhanger yeah. if you look at the boxers it tells you and these are very good boxers and i i don't expect anything less than a fire a firework nothing less than fireworks Ni Sakabule and the white trunks. Henry Mao and the black. <laughs> Clearly, this gives you a feel, a taste of what is expected to happen. Mao came into the ring at a weight of 160 pounds. That's the boxer in black. Ni Sakabule tip the scales at 163 and ironically both boxers have a large following here in the crowd trading some power punches this is a middleweight contest prince look at the way these gentlemen are fighting i suspect they knock out <laughs> they really they're really making good use of the of the blows they are throwing which is very very which is very 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 good and the defense too, if you look at the one on the defense side, is doing so, so, so well. I, I but, can't. you know, the, the record clearly shows that uh, Mom has fought four fights. He's won four, all by a knockout. His opponent, Nisa Kabule, has fought twice. He's won the two, all by way of knockout. So two knockout <laughs> experts. What do you expect? A, 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 a knockout by... by, by but yeah, yeah, yeah. again, from the gym's perspective, uh, how strong, how readily fit are these two boxers? And from the way uh, the fight is going around, the both boxers are a bit nervy. They've not settled yet into their game. From the composure of both, um, Henry Mom's composure is the better of the two. Um, it looks to me, from right before the bout started, that um, Bule is a bit dehydrated. It, 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 it looks to me that he, he has not been able to rehydrate after making weight. It looks to me that he's not as fit as he should be. He looks a bit anxious and nervy over there to me. He has not really settled into his game. I don't know whether it is the pressure from the large crowd he brought along or that he's not really ready. But it's early days yet. Let's see what happens. 
early days yet it's just round one this bout is scheduled for six and it's a middleweight contest between panics boxing gym and palm springs mom goes into work on the body of bully bully trying to avoid the punches and then trades in a few of his own as well tough head henry mom seems to have mom seems to be the more technically gifted of the two his punches are straight punches they are telling punches um bullets throwing his punches but it's not really hitting the target as we want to see it's rather grazing on his opponent either the gloves or the face of the his opponent it's not really landing cleanly but when you look at mom the way his punches are really accurate precision and you know the kind of punches that he throws he throws with some kind of venom back in it and that is very very dangerous so you know benjamin nisakabula needs to be careful because this fight is really really tough one so they open up again this is the second round scheduled for six it's bully on the offensive now mom stands tall he's missing a few of uh, those uh, punches tries to work through the guard field day for mom at this stage but then bully will take over trading of punches is nothing to these two gentlemen as uh, near as i told us earlier on they are both experts when it comes to the knockout and he suspects that we could have a knockout And again, let's also take a look at the quality of coaches in the two corners. There's Coach America in the corner of uh, Bully, and then there's Coach Yin uh, in the Coach Yi on the other uh, side. That's for uh, Mom. So again, quality kind of coaching these two boxers may have gone through. And look at the eagerness and seriousness on the face of Henry Mao. You know, Prince, two quality coaches from. Uh, book size and that tells you the kind of matchup we have and you can see their fighters is also giving it all top 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 fight on this card here when you see when these two fighters get into the inside game i'm here thinking who is gonna prove the other that he's stronger than the arab when they get into the inside game it's a slow fest it's a slow oh, fight slug here. Fest definitely is going on both boxers are not ready to give up and from the look of uh, things it, it looks like they take turns to let go and this time Shadrach Akwe would give a stern warning to Bullet and that's a stern caution coming to the young man and then they would have a go at it once again they are fighting in the middleweight class don't forget and that's where the punches are quite heavy to deal with. You know, Prince, both fighters started on a heavy note. The tempo was so, so much. And now you can understand why they've, I mean, stepped down on the tempo because they are really gassing out. They are really giving it yeah. all there. And that kind of energy that is being deprived from punching on that fast tempo is really really taking a toll on them so you can see now they've slowed the tempo down is because they are really gassing out it's not easy there it's a really really difficult fight between these fighters watching closely is uh referee shadrach akwe and take a look at that but i mean look at look at them they look refreshed and i believe that the third round was you know follow another battle yeah it definitely will round three panics by the way are lying third on the uh deluxe the professional boxing league table and so a win for them will do them a whole world of good and that's where henry Malm is uh, coming from and defending palm springs are lying last but one on the 12 club league log And then trading punches once again. Bully has the upper hand this time around as he pins Mount to the ropes. No inch given in this bout. They are ready to go for all or broke. 
You know, that explains it, Prince. You know, when you look at these two fighters, they are knockout specialists. And so when you get your moment, you need to utilize it because that moment can score you knockouts. That's why if one fighter get his moment, he's really pouncing on the other. When it turns and there, down, you see Bulego. Combination of punches, and he seems to have gathered some momentum and strength. Talking about uh, Nisa Kabule. The crowd is loving every bit of it. And really, there's no rest period for these two gentlemen. Exactly. No rest because someone needs to knock, get, get knocked down, you know? And so, looking at these two fighters, they are specialists in knockout. So, each fighter needs to do something. They want to do something. If Ch uh, Nisa Kabula gets his moment, he really wants to pounce on his opponent to see if he can get a knockout. And if Henry Mount to get his moment, he also wants to do the same. So it's a 50-50 affair here, and it's really getting intense. It looks like these two boxers have a score to settle even before they came into the ring. And that the determination at which they are letting it go, you know, clearly tells that they are both hungry for success in this bout. Still in round three, scheduled for six. Mom in black. Bule and the uh, predominant white. It's now the turn of uh, Mao to dish a few and then Bule changes stride, but that was an unfair challenge. Don't forget, uh, Shadrach Akwe has given a stern caution to uh, Henry Mao already and he's done one two to uh, Nisa Kabule. Wild miss by Mao. Good ring craft we've seen from both boxers. Still wanting to have a go at each other. Saved by the bell. Always want to protect. Somebody's O has got to go. And this fight is one. You know, it's, it's, it's one which will go into the history books because both boxers are young, they are both up and coming, and they both want to make a mark. And what a time to make a mark in your career. Obviously, to be the best, you need to fight against the best. That's a good one there. Landed nicely. I still stand on their two feet. Clerk of skills, J. Anand is watching every bit of the movement. Bully trying to open up. They go into a head clash. A headbutt. We saw a very clumsy one earlier on in the bout where the Togolese international could not continue with the bout. This one looks good. No blood is spilled, at least not yet. Bully goes into the open market once again, clips uh, Imam on the side. Oh, what a wild miss uh, by Bule. But we'll continue with the pressure as uh, Mom backpedals for a while and then puts, uh, Bule puts him in the corner. Trading of punches will begin. Oops. That's some unsportsmanlike behavior. From that, that's unneedful, that's unneedful from uh, Henry Mount. He shouldn't do that. The kind of technicalities he has, what he has shown, that is unneedful of him. They both want to give their all. They both want to win, clearly. Prince, I can now understand when uh, Gould said that the stakes are high. I mean, if you look at the the corners of both boxes, especially uh, 
man's corner. I mean, I, I, I can see about five, six boxes who, who are feeling so uncomfortable. His managers and coaches are there. They, 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 they feel very, very uncomfortable. It tells you how high the stakes are. And I can tell you that uh, this fight, <laughs> he must end, for, from where I see, he must end in, in a knockout. Because the stakes are too high. And you know, uh, this part of the country, when the stakes are high, and the, and the, 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 the fight goes, uh, 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 you know, to the hand, we, we have some problems. I, I, I wish that there will be some good knockout and then who we'll, we'll, we'll end the fight. Derek, I can tell you, Bullet's manager in America is watching live. And Mom's manager is right here in the arena, in the presence of matchmaker Lord Amir, in a good account of themselves tonight. Round five. Round five it is. What an interesting bout. It's scheduled for six though. So we've got two, three minute rounds. And uh, as I made a comment earlier, the corner of uh, Henry Mom is bubbling with a lot of uh, pressure, the coaches. I also noticed that on the other side of the ring where American man seems to be in charge, I think he's also solicited some help because coach Latekwe is in that corner as well. <laughs> so let's see how the fight continues. It's Bully in the predominant white. And it's Henry Mao in black. Panics taking on Palm Springs. You know, Prince, in round four, I noticed something about Henry Mom. He started a fight so, so well with a bit of agency and the tempo was very, very high. Getting into the late of round four, you could see that he was gassing out and that is when Benjamin Sakabule also started also pouncing on him. And you know, in round five, you could see that that tactics has changed on the, on the part of Henry Mom. Henry Mom has started on a build up slowly thinking that in terms of endurance he has to really endure those kind of uh, uh, stats so that when it gets to the end rounds he can also have some power to match up with Benjamin Sakabule if not Benjamin Sakabule knows that in terms of endurance Henry Mom has been lacking that he starts off so well with that, that kind of energy but getting into the late rounds then he's dying out so I mean Henry Mom knows that Benjamin Nisakabule too also knows that and that is something something difficult to catch up with because both fighters are really exploiting on their weaknesses both fighters have their strength and what is left is exploit on your opponent's weakness and that's what we've seen here very very interesting fight so far couldn't agree with you more, DJ NY. Very interesting fight it has been. And look at Bule go. Trading in the uh, punches to the best of his ability. And he has a swelling on his face. Uh, Nisaka Bule. Henry Mam goes in with a thick right. But then has to backpedal as Bule puts on the heat and the pressure. Shadrach Akwe will separate the two boxes and then immediately they will go at it again there's no room for respite there's no room for relief there's no room for a break as it were Prince the, the faces of the boxers tells it all it tells you the kind of work both boxers are putting in and the kind of punches they are they are landing on their opponents I I, I, I see Currently, as you round, and I always love the championship Six. round because and in that round anything round. can happen. Anything can happen, Prince. These two boxers have got only three minutes to show why they should be crowned the winner. The man in charge of this bout is technical director of the Ghana Boxing Authority. Shadrach Akwe. Let's see whether we will have the, that explosive nature in this final round. Looks like it will be a continuation of where they left off. Meanwhile, the strapping on uh, Malm's uh, glove seems to be 
coming off. Wild misses by both uh, boxers. I now see where Nia Sai's fear is coming from. Should it go down to the wire, we would have to go to the scorecards. Don't envy anyone who's a boxing a judge at this time. <laughs> Because these two boxers have really endeared themselves to the crowd here today. It's been a give and take affair. Friends, I like what you use, give and take affair. These fighters don't want in any case to show any deficiency in the fight so far. You know, since round one to round six, the tempo has been the same. And I mean, Prince, I wouldn't agree with you. It's an even fight. Because I don't know, as, a, as it stands now, I don't know who is winning. Because both fighters, in this round, this fighter is going to prove himself. The next round, the other fighter is going to prove himself. So it's an even fight. And that is very, very difficult when a fight is even like that. Unless something spectacular happens in the fight. That's why I love this championship round. Anything can happen. It could be anybody's game. Once their, their tactics and their strategy work for you, you will be going home with a, uh, points at stake. Don't forget, panics are lying third on the table. Very, very close encounter. Sonia have 39 in second. Panics have 37 in third. Charles Quarty, Boxing Foundation, are leading on 42 points. And again, there's a cause for a stoppage. Prince, I need uh, uh, Benjamin Nisa Kabula needs to be focused in the fight because at some point in time he loses focus looking at the referee to see if he wants to complain. And if you do that, you are giving a chance for your opponent to really read you, pounce on you and stalk at you. I don't think Benjamin Sakabula at this point in time should be looking at the referee. Still be focused in the fight because it's anybody's game. It's anybody's game as, as, as it stands now. So Benjamin Sakabuli needs to be focused in the fight because Henry Mom, he's still got something in him and we've not seen him yet. Last 10 seconds left. Let's see what he can do. Very close to call if you ask me. And Bule has been uh, cautioned for pushing his opponent off. Last 10 seconds. Prince, we, we must teach our, our, our boxers that uh, boxing is a sport. At a point, uh, the behavior in the ring doesn't show the sportsmanship of, of, of you know, the pushing and the, the... And if you look around, if you look at their, their, their corners, you will see the kind of gestures they are giving to the boxers, which I don't think that uh, it speaks well. Of. So, as we're waiting for the results, let me remind you that we are still counting down to next two weeks where we're going to come up with the best gym that will go home with a Renault Kiwix 1.0 litre engine coming from Renault Ghana Premium Motors Limited. And the best boxer will also go home with Renault Kuwait 1.0 litre engine. I'm still waiting for the verdicts. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the verdicts, but I, I want you to help me to celebrate one personality, the former president of the Republic of Ghana. So His Excellency J. Kofor from the Ghana Boxing Authority, from IMAX Media Group, and from the Boxing Fraternity, 
we want to wish you a belated happy birthday. Now I have the verdicts. Judge 1, Michael Nikwe scored about 59 to 55. Judge 2, David Mills scored about 58 to 57. Judge 3, Williams scored about 57 to 57 by a majority point decision presenting to you the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the boxer, Harry.